Hi, I'm Jeff Hancock with Blue Wave Ultrasonics, and I want to talk about what really separates Blue Wave from the competition. Most ultrasonic manufacturers utilize a piezoelectric type transducer. This is what you'll find on most of the companies that are on the internet, etc. And the driver for that transducer is this ceramic element right here. And when it sees a voltage, it expands or contracts, causing the diaphragm that it's attached to to vibrate at that frequency. So the manufacturer of this technology develops a generator that will generate, say, 40,000 cycles a second of electrical uh, voltage, turns that on and off 40,000 cycles a second, causes this to vibrate 40,000 cycles a second, which will eventually cause pressure waves into the tank and create cavitation. The problem with this type of technology is that in heavy duty applications that run longer cycle times, higher operating temperatures, uh, or run say 24-7, is that this piezo material is a, a man-made element and it degrades over time. So what eventually happens is it deteriorates in performance. There's several other problems with, with, the, with this particular design in that it's epoxy bonded onto the radiating diaphragm, which eventually becomes the bottom of the tank. As well as this diaphragm is fairly thin and can get what's caused cavitation erosion. It'll actually wear through this diaphragm due to this erosion process. This erosion process is going to happen on an ultrasonic tank because of the cavitation uh, that, that's created in the tank. There's no way around it. It's going to happen. But if it's a very thin diaphragm, it will hit through. Blue Wave manufactures a completely different type of ultrasonic system. We make what's called a zero-spaced, silver-brazed, magnetostrictive transducer. This transducer is con consists of pure nickel alloy. We start out with U-shaped laminations, again, pure nickel, and they're formed into a stack. This stack, then, is silver-brazed to a very thick 7-gauge radiating diaphragm. The advantage of this transducer is that, number one, nickel has an inherent property known as magnetostriction. When it sees a magnetic field, it contracts. This is inherent in the material and doesn't change over time. So what Blue Wave does is we put a coil around the stack, we generate a 30 kilohertz frequency through that coil. Every time a magnetic field is set up in that coil, the nickel sees it and contracts. It's a, it's a very heavy duty design, and because it's inherent in material, the magnetostrictive properties will never ever degrade. So you get the same performance today as you get 20 years, 30 years, 50 years down the road. The other advantage of this type of transducer is that we can silver braze it onto the radiating diaphragm, unlike the epoxy bond that you see here. With this silver braze, there's no way that this transducer is ever going to disbond from this radiating diaphragm which is essential in the performance of cavitation. Another huge advantage for Blue Wave is that we are able to attach these heavy mass transducers to a thick radiating diaphragm. That this diaphragm is approximately 3 16 of an inch thick and ultimately becomes the bottom of the tank or the side of the tank depending on the application that we're, we're working on. Blue Wave guarantees this transducer system for the life of the product. We guarantee that the transducers We'll never lose their ability to expand and contract. We guarantee the silver braze, and that the, there's, there will never be despondent. And we guarantee that you will never pit through this thick radiating diaphragm, provided the chemistry that you're using is compatible with 316L stainless. It doesn't have to be our chemistry. It can be uh, chemistry that you guys uh, prefer to use. But uh, it has to be, obviously, compatible with 316L. Uh, that is not the case with this type of transducer system. They may guarantee these transducers for uh, a year, 10 years. They may guarantee them for life. And they also may guarantee a, the, uh, the braze or the, the bond. But most of them will never guarantee that you won't pit through that diaphragm. In fact, it's specifically excluded in a lot of piezoelectric system warranties. This is a transducer uh, assembly that we actually removed for one of our local customers, uh, we actually cut it out of the bottom of the tank because it just 
didn't provide enough energy to create cavitation anymore. We cut it out, use our existing tank, and welded in a new uh, radiating diaphragm assembly, and the tank is as good as new.